Hello everyone, I'm Marcelle, author of Cancer Won't Stop Me. If this is your first time here, I call everyone survivors because we're all surviving something. Today I wanted to talk about how to write your first book. So, have you ever thought about writing a book but you just didn't know how or where to get started? Well, today I'm going to teach you some tips. So, let's talk about it. So writing your first book can be very, very exciting, but it can also be very nerve wracking. So I understand how it is to want to write a book and not know where to get started. So I want to share some tips on how to get started with writing your first book. The very first step is to just get started. <laughs> so writing, getting started, doing some research, um, I would suggest praying and fasting first. Think about what you want your topic to be. Do some research of other books, um, like the topic that you want to discuss. See if there's still something that you would want to write about or if you need to narrow it down to something different. But just start writing. That's your first step. Number two, establish a place or a space that you would like to write. So it could be Starbucks, it could be a park, it could be at home, it could be in your office, it could be in your bed, it could be in your bathroom. Any place that you feel comfortable, any place that you feel like you could write there. Step number three is get your writing tools. So if you need a computer, if you need pens, if you need pencils, snacks or water, if you need your favorite chair, bring that to your space. Make your space your very own. Make it comfortable because you're going to be there for a while. Number five, what is your big idea? What are you writing about? What is your purpose for writing? Narrow it down to a topic. If you're going, unless you're going to be writing an autobiography, then that will be about your whole life. So you have different topics, different areas that you would like to write about. But if you're going to be writing about a specific issue or a specific thing that happened to you, like I wrote about my journey with cancer, so that was about the last month of my life. So you can narrow it down to something like that. Your outline is just to help keep you on track with your topic and what you're writing about. It's a guide for you. It's your outline. It serves you. It can be changed. You can change it anytime that you need to. And basically your outline can be your chapters of your book. So you can have 10 chapters in your book, so you can just break it down into chapters. It makes your book seem a lot smaller if you focus on writing chapters. Um, but basically, having an outline is a kind of a guide to keep you on track. Number seven is having a writing schedule. So to stay on track with deadlines and making your book a priority, you should have a writing schedule. So decide when you're going to write. If it's going to be in the morning, if it's going to be in the afternoon, if you're going to set aside a weekend, your weekends to write, an hour or two on the weekend, an hour or two every day, whatever you decide to do, stick with your schedule. For me, I decided to write um, during my radiation. It was five weeks. So I spent every day writing. Um, I wanted to be done by the time I was done with my radiation. So I wrote my book in five weeks the heart of my book anyway. I did editings and things like that, um, but my book was published in three months. From the time I began writing to publishing, it was three months. So set up your schedule. When do you want your book finished? Do you want to be finished with your book in 12 months, three months, six months? Your decision. Hey you guys, I actually forgot number eight, so I'm gonna insert it here. Number eight is make your presence online. So you can do this through YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can choose one or you can do all, but it will probably be easier to focus on one thing at a time. And what you can do with making your presence known on your social media accounts is go ahead and start telling everyone you're gonna write a book or you're writing a book so they can be looking forward to it. You can start talking about different topics in your book and get everyone all excited about it. 
Um, so then you also have some people who are already interested in your book when you get ready to publish your book. You can do pre-orders, but establishing your presence online is very, very important. So you can start, go ahead and start building your audience. So your next step is going to be, I believe, number nine, which is going to be to proofread, to do your final edits. Don't worry about being an editor. Don't worry about being an English major. You're going to hire an editor. So go ahead and start researching editors now. Um, you can work on this while you're doing your proofreading. The next few steps we're going to do, you can do these simultaneous. You can do more than one step at a time. So while you're doing your proofreading, you can be researching your editor. You can be researching um, your book cover. You can be researching graphic designer. When you're doing your edits, make sure you're writing in your own voice. Make sure you're being real and being yourself. Um, try to keep your audience excited and don't let your book be boring. So, all right. Number 10 is send your book to the editor. You do want to get an editor for your book because they can pick up on some things that you could have missed. They can make your book sound better. They can be very, very helpful. Um, the next step is going to be your book cover. While your book is at the editor, you can be working on your book cover. You can also be finding your, while your book is at the editor, you can also work on your book cover. So you can do your book cover yourself. You can hire someone to do your book cover, or you can find a graphic designer to do your book cover. And you can find a graphic designer to do your internal matting. That is going to be your next step. Different things in your book, like if you have graphs or menus or gaming or all kinds of pictures and recipes and things like that, you might want to hire a graphic designer to help the inside of your book look great. Um, you can do it yourself. I would suggest if you're going to be doing it yourself to use Word to do your writing. I did mine on my Google Chrome. So when I tried to do the internal formatting myself, it didn't really line up right. No matter how hard I spent like a week trying to get it to, to format and I just couldn't get it together. So I had to hire a professional person to do my internal formatting, which I'm glad I did. It turned out great and she did a great job. Number 13 is ordering your final proof. So ordering your final proof, get you a copy of your book to see what it looks like. Make sure that your book cover looks great. Make sure that it looks great on the inside. See if there's any typos or any area on the inside. Um, you have like one final look at it. If you don't order a proof, you can also, if you do it on Amazon, you can just look at it on there and that can be your final proof. You can view your final proof digitally on, on Amazon or you can order a copy. And the very last thing to do is to approve it and publish. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm here for you. I want to be your support system. I'm now, I am now an author consultant, so I don't mind and I would love to help you write your first book. You can inquire below, send me an email um, that you would need assistance and I'd love to consult with you on writing your first book or writing your next book. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, um, let me know below. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and like this video. And I hope you watch to the end. Thanks.